Hey, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I want to talk about salt pools. And specifically, what if you have a salt pool and you're not getting a chlorine reading? Uh, a lot of times, salt pools do have this problem along with chlorine pools, normal chlorine pools, but specifically salt pools. What happens when you don't have a, uh, when you're not registering chlorine? Uh, well, the first thing that you should do um, is just run down the obvious. All right, look at the cyanuric acid. Now, cyanuric acid is a stabilizer for your chlorine. It should be between 30 to 50 parts per million. Anything higher or lower, and it renders the chlorine ineffective. Now, let's define high and low. Low is 20, 10, and obviously zero. If it's low, then you need to shock with dichlorochlorine. This is a stabilized form of chlorine. Um, when you shock the pool, be sure that you turn your chlorine generator off. Now, to increase your cyanuric acid using dichlor, uh, you use one and a third pounds to raise it 10 parts per million per 10,000 gallons, which means that if you have to raise it 20 parts per million, you raise the, you double the adjustment, so simply double the amount. If you have a 20,000 gallon pool and you need to raise it 10 parts per million, well, you doubled the gallons, so simply double the amount. And it's fairly simple. This is your baseline right here. Uh, so that's a way that you can increase your cyanuric acid. Now, if it's too high, uh, let's talk about what too high is. Too high would be, in my opinion, once you get into the 80, 90, 100 range, especially 120, 150, then it's time to do a partial drain and refill. This is the only way to effectively reduce your cyanuric acid. Um, if you are shocking with dichlor, I suggest that you stop. You know, if you're, you're a pool owner and you firmly believe in shocking your pool each week, even though your chlorine levels are fine, your readings are fine, you have no combined chlorines, and yet you really still want to shock your pool and you're using dichlor, you need to stop. Also watch the trichlor tabs. They have cyanuric acid and chlorine in them. Uh, your pH could be too high. Uh, pH, uh, the range for that should be 7, 4, 7, 8. Now once you start getting 8, 2, um, 8, 0, 8, 2, 8, 4 and above, the chlorine becomes less and less effective the higher the pH is. So be sure that you keep the pH between 7, 2 and 7, 4. Let's go to the most obvious, salt level. Uh, if your salt level is too high or low, um, well, if it's too low, it's not going to produce chlorine. If it's too high, then you end up burning you end up burning the cell up, the chlorine generator. So be careful with that. Be sure you know what your range is. Most chlorine generators are very forgiving. They have a range of around 2,500 to 4,500 parts per million. Um, but you want to stay in that three to four thousand um, mark. Um, during this time, you can use an algicide. What I suggest you use is a polyquat 60 algicide, not a copper algicide. You don't want to be adding metal to the water. Uh, polyquat uh, algicides are safe for plaster pools, uh, fiberglass pools, vinyl liners. It's, it's a little more expensive, but it is worth it. Um, be sure that the uh, cell obviously is running uh, properly. Look for a code. Is it throwing a code? Look at your owner's manual to see if it's throwing a code and what that what that code means. Clean the cell. Maybe you haven't cleaned the cell. Now the the chlorine generator that that um, I use at the Y, I would have to clean on a monthly basis, and I would use a four to one mixture of water and muriatic acid. Obviously, four parts water, one part muriatic acid. I would let that sit for about five minutes. It would foam and bubble up and do what, what it was supposed to do. And then I would just spray it out and hook it back up again and all was right with the world. So those are some areas to look for if you have a salt pool and you don't have a chlorine reading. So hope that answers some of your questions. Like, subscribe, comment. Please check out the description below. Uh, it has a link to my website, cleanpoolandspot.com. Lots of great information over there. Uh, so until next time, I'm Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. Be safe and happy swimming. Bye.